I think if many members of this House had um, gone through 5,000 more aftershocks, they might be sleeping under the table too, as a matter of fact. I have no major concern about a day of remembrance for victims of the Canterbury earthquake, uh, Mr Speaker. But I have to say we will have a long time, decades, to remember and commemorate this disaster and the victims it has so brutally taken. The scars are going to be there for many, many years for all to see. My immediate concern, as of course is that of many others, is with the living and with finding, naming, releasing and farewelling the dead. A public holiday won't give us in Canterbury time off from the catastrophic conditions in Christchurch and their ramifications. Some areas of our city still do not have toilets, water or power or adequate means of support for those who have survived the quake. In spite of the best efforts of thousands of professional and volunteer workers, to whom all in this House have paid tribute and I join them in it, people can't still cook or wash in many areas, schools are damaged or destroyed, houses are wrecked and workplaces and jobs uh, have been completely eliminated. Winter is coming. Heating is going to be a real challenge for the city. Already in the mornings the temperature drops to three or four or five degrees. If New Zealanders want to help, can I suggest that they consider, instead of a national holiday, a day's pay for everyone who's a wage earner? A rough calculation I did on the way up uh, last night would be that of, if the 2.2 million wage earners in New Zealand gave an after-tax contribution of the average day's pay, that would mean something like seven or eight hundred million dollars to the rebuilding and welfare of Christchurch. That would actually do more than any other national day of, of uh, commemoration or anything else to assist Canterbury at the present time. Christchurch will need a constructive contribution from all New Zealanders. Financial contributions are one way of doing it. On my doorstep on Saturday morning, several very large cartons of safety equipment arrived from a safety company in Auckland to help with those who were uh, cleaning up the silt and um, mess that the streets of Christchurch are almost universally coated in and it was extraordinarily well appreciated by the teams of volunteers who are out on the street all weekend and have been for nearly two weeks now. It was a tangible reminder that people are putting practical initiatives into action to help and I want to assure them and the whole of New Zealand that gestures like this are greatly appreciated in Christchurch and do more to raise the hopes and spirits of the people of Christchurch than any national day off could possibly achieve. The, res the resilience and spirit of Cantabrians is legend, and I can say this as an ex-Aucklander, which I do not speak too loudly about in Canterbury these days, but it is legendary and it is real. There is a, a, comment, a comment has been made in the House about it, and it is the most extraordinary experience to be in a community that responds by thinking of just about everyone else except themselves. And it is a tribute to the spirit of the people of Canterbury that they will prevail, but they will need, even in spite of themselves, the rest of New Zealand by their side. And I hope the expressions in this House today and the feelings of New Zealanders around the country will last for the many long years ahead when times will really be tough for many people in my city. The Honourable